just shock and devastation. It was December the 17th, and so it was just before Christmas. For the last two months, Angie Carr says she's had endless questions about the death of cousin Milana Harper. You know, one of the hardest things is not knowing. So even after an arrest, you still have a million questions, you know, and I'm sure you know, over time, a lot of those questions will get answered. The 34-year-old was killed at a home in Dexter in December. And last week, a man was arrested and charged with her murder. 28-year-old Jordan Walker is facing murder charges, three counts of aggravated assault, and at least three other charges related to possession of a firearm. She was that person that was that was sweet to everybody, no matter what walk of life they came from, you know, whether it was a homeless person on the street to the CEO of a big company. Harper was an officer at Dodge State Prison, a job that Carr says she took for a stable life for her and 14-year-old son, Isaiah. Carr says her son meant everything to her. I'd never seen a child look so much like his mother, and then I couldn't get her to put him down. <laughs> Carr says Milana and Isaiah both have two genetic diseases, one being arscog scott syndrome, a rare disease that is characterized by facial abnormalities. Her and Isaiah, he, they had a thing, I, you know, the love you to the moon and back. Carr says the whole family's focus is now on Isaiah and getting answers. Yeah, we know that that won't bring her back. So I think we can be, we can be patient. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News.